Your next comic coming to the stage is a very funny lady. She writes for the Whiskey Journal and performs here as well. Please give it up for Elizabeth O'Neill. Great. Good room. Having fun. Awesome. My parents live in Philadelphia, and I'm their youngest daughter. Uh, you might relate with this, sir. Uh, so my parents were just so excited to know I was going to be coming home, and they were going to be able to see me do stand-up comedy. So I was talking with them on the phone, because you always have to talk to them at the same time, on speaker, you know. And my mom just said, Elizabeth, we are just over the moon that we're going to be able to see you do stand-up. Just so excited. I said, oh, Mom, I, I uh, <laughs> didn't know you guys were planning on coming. No, that's fine. Don't worry. I'll come up with a clean set. It'll be great. Uh, honey, what's she talking about? A clean set? <laughs> what's that? I don't understand. What are you doing out there? What's a clean set? I said, you know, they're just jokes that you can tell in front of your parents or a toddler. You know, just real family-friendly stuff. Oh, okay, that'll be, wait, what, what are you, what are you doing out there in Chicago that's dirty? Just, this is upsetting me, Elizabeth, what are you saying? I was like, you're talking about sex. Oh my God, she's talking, I'm like, mom, shut this down right now. I'm not, it's just, okay, we're not going to talk about this. Just give me a sample. Give me an example. Give us an example. No, mom, I'm not. Just come on. What? We're not adult friends? I thought we were adult girlfriends. Tell me. I said, all right, mom. Honey, I'll take you off speaker. I'll take, honey, we're, okay, whatever. That's my dad. So my mom says, all right, give, it, give me the dish. So I say, well, okay, I'm a bartender now, and I was talking to my fellow coworker. He was muddling mint and lime, and I looked at him on a busy day, and I was like, ugh, mojitos, right? They're the worst. And he was like, yeah, I know, but, uh, I make them so well that everybody just keeps coming back for more. And I said, that's how I feel about blowjobs. <laughs> oh, geez. So I got fired. But, um, so my mom giggles, you know, and I was like, oh, okay, we're cool. That's nice, mom. She was like, oh, yeah, don't ever, don't ever tell that one to your father. That's, we're going to leave that out. So I said, okay, you know, well, that's, that's a sample. My mom's like, oh, my goodness, now that I thinking about it, I mean, Woman went on a complete downward spiral of nervousness and anxiety, just like dove down to the center of gravity. She was just very upset. She was like, who, who's walking you home? I mean, you're at these bars in Chicago late at night in the city where we don't know anybody, and you're just out there, you're talking about your town, and about, and I just don't, what are you? I was like, mom, let's just calm it down. No one is going to rape me in an alley because I'm doing a joke about blowjobs, okay? It's just not going to happen. Oh. Oh, okay, smarty pants, why don't you call me when I get raped? Okay? I'll just be sitting by the phone. I was like, Mom, that's a little severe. Okay, but I'm glad you're in my corner. I'll call, I'll call you. So the next day, oh, next day I get a phone call from my dad, and he's like, what is this about you telling your mother that there are alleys in Chicago? <laughs> I was like, my mistake, Dad. My mistake. <laughs> But yeah, he's not the only one. They're not the only ones that are worried about me in this big city. You know, so different than Philadelphia. I don't know why it's different, but it is. So my brother-in-law actually texted me uh, recently the PDF of the gang map of Chicago. Okay, like where all the gangs are located. And I, said, I wrote him back and I was like, dude, don't worry about it. You know, I live in North Center, gang-free. He's like, oh my God, phew, good. I said, well, too bad I'm dating a Latin king. <laughs> <laughs> my mistake. And he said, uh, he wrote back, and he was like, oh my god, you have a boyfriend? We're so excited to meet him. That's so wonderful. I was like, no, well, uh, Guillermo's kind of uh, possessive. He's not letting me come home for Christmas. Hashtag controlling kingpin. <laughs> so sad. But I'm a nice girl. I am. And, um, you know, my I went on a date recently, you know, with Guillermo. <laughs> And uh, he was just thinking, he was like, you know, God, girls, like, you're always looking each other up and down, up and down, judging and judging and judging. How do you survive as a girl? I don't get it. I was like, you think we're judging them, but you don't understand when I see a girl, like, when I'm staring at her, I got caught the other night at a party staring at this chick, and she looked at me, and I just wanted to be like, I love your shoes. I love them so much. That would be a little weird, right? 
But other times it's like, you just want to look at a girl and be like, you're so much hotter than your boyfriend. <laughs> Get better self-esteem, aim higher. <laughs> or like, you're eating a cheeseburger and drinking a dark beer and eating the french fries and you're a size two? <laughs> you know, this is what's going on up here. Unfortunately though, like sometimes people don't catch that you're a nice person. I don't know. I got caught in a little bit of a girl war lately um, with a girl I know and she was talking about me behind my back via text message. And my friend told me about it and he's like, what did you do to her? I mean, well I'll just say what she said in her voice because it's more fun. Elizabeth O'Neill is such a fucking cunt. She's such a cunny little bitch. I mean, doesn't she think I pick up on how condescending she is to me? It's like, oh my gosh. What a cunt. And I smiled, and my friend's like, Elizabeth, most girls don't smile after they get called a cunt. Like, that's, that's rare. And I was like, no. I am just so impressed that she picked up on my deep condescension. Like, I don't think she would have we should really be friends. <laughs> Gosh, yeah, anyway. Uh, but yeah, so I was uh, recently, you know, with my parents, and we were in, uh, took a trip up to Boston. We're tra traveling ar around in New Hampshire, and my mom just wanted to explore the fall foliage. You know, she's 60, so this is fun. And we're, we're on the highway, and she's just like, oh my goodness, Elizabeth, do you see what I see? I'm in the back seat. Do you see it? I mean, the red, the crimson. Is that orange? No, no, no. Is that mustard next to the orange, next to the crimson? This is too much. This is too much. Hold my hand. Hold my hand. Is that burnt sienna? That is burnt sienna. Oh, guys, I witnessed my mother have an autumnal visual orgasm. Okay, and you never want to see that, no matter how it comes. Now. <clears throat> No, I went there. So, <laughs> so recently I actually, uh, this is the part my parents can't hear, I had to take plan B. Do you guys know what that is? You know, morning after pill. Thank you. I thought so too, right? Like, I kept a bastard from America. You know, that's like rare. So we should clap for me. Thank you. Uh, but no, so my sex friend, you know, after the accident happens, he's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm just so sorry. And I was like, yeah, do you have any cash? Do you? Do you have any cash on you? He was like, why would you ask me that? That's really weird. I said, well, you know, it's going to cost about $50 to kill the bun that might be growing in this oven. So, you know, 50 bucks. Let's just split it up. And he said, uh, no, but, uh, do you have PayPal? <laughs> and I thought to myself, you know, I could be pretty offended right now, but instead I'm going to realize how freaking great this is. Like, this should be their new marketing campaign for PayPal, right? It's like, Awkwardness went too deep after you went too deep. <laughs> PayPal for plan B. Want to be a stand up guy, but you never really want to see her again? <laughs> PayPal for plan B. <laughs> Ladies, you know, you don't want to absorb the whole 50 bucks, but you feel a little uncomfortable chasing a man for cash after sex? <laughs> PayPal for plan B. 73 hours instead of 72 on the wait time? <laughs> PayPal for abortion. You know, just knock it out of the park. Just real easy peasy. All right, guys, thank you so much.